Most all high schools have a woodchop class. No more close than that right there, okay? But in Sisters, the curriculum is taken up a notch. Students in Tony Cosby's class are building their very own guitars. And they're not just haphazardly gluing a few pieces of wood together, either. The kids get really caught up in these really small, minute details. And they could build it a lot faster, but they just, they have this vision, and sometimes they have to see it out. To run smoothly, the class takes a dedicated team of volunteers. And yes, a lot of donated money. From the Folk Festival, we've received probably almost $100,000 in the last three years. Each year, some students choose to give up their guitars to the My Two Hands auction, which puts money back into the program. We have to get funding somehow, and you know, it is tough to see this guitar go, but I could build such a better one next time that you know, I'm really excited to do it again. And Students pay $200 for basic supplies, but almost all of them end up ponying up for one-of-a-kind touches. So probably on this guitar, since I decided to inlay all these, I had to do them all by hand with a, a router and X-Acto knife, so probably inlaying all those was the hardest part. <laughs> it's so amazing. They come up with ideas, you're like, what are you talking about? And, and it's so funny to see them try to live that out. And sometimes they fail, and sometimes it, it comes out and you're like, wow, they proved me wrong again. The kids come into the class with basic skills from Woodshop One, where they learn to build an Adirondack chair. The guitar is super uh, particular, it's very meticulous, and I really enjoy the challenge of all the creativity within it, um, paired with all the very fine craftsmanship that you have to do to make an excellent product. And even when you do everything by the book, bad things can still happen. Halfway through the building process, a kid dropped my guitar. and it went across the entire room and I thought it was probably broken but I fixed it and like it was on the side right on the binding crushed the binding I had to fix it and you can't even notice it sometimes you're just gonna have to do things twice like I had to redo like I had to finish my top twice I had finished it and then I had to take all of it off and then I had to refinish it again because it wasn't how I liked it you know and you gotta if you want it to be good you gotta take your time and do it again a lot of times. After 24 weeks of sometimes painful lessons in patience, the guitars are finally ready to be something more than just a piece of art. It's just so cool when they get to that point and they forget all of those problems that they dealt with, with their little inlays and all their little particulars that they were worried about at the beginning. For more information about the Americana Project and the programs provided in all three sisters' school, visit sistersfolkfestival.org.